All right, music fans, welcome back. Harmless Dave here talking about real music in real time for real people just like you and just like me. All right, so the Rolling Stones, uh, will they continue on without Charlie Watts? Um, they probably will. And the reason I say that is because they had already uh, booked some gigs without Charlie because Charlie had a procedure done and this is kind of interesting. A lot of people aren't talking about the procedure he had done. And the press release from that procedure said it went really, really well. But Charlie needs some time off. And, of course, they said no cause of death listed. So, again, I could go into my little conspiracy mode here. But I'm really focusing more on the fact that I think the Stones will continue. Uh, they have Steve Jordan who is a great drummer who was already kind of scheduled to fill in for Charlie Watts. Um, but here's my take on the Rolling Stones at this point. Um, nobody's really that interested in new music by the Rolling Stones. Although if you go on uh, YouTube, the song they put out last year during the height of the, the case-demic, um, definitely uh, hit a nerve with a lot of people living in a ghost town, I think it was called. And it was a pretty good song, no question about it. So they do have some songwriting mojo left in the tank. Uh, and if it's Jagger and Richards and Ronnie Wood kicking around, I do believe that they are still kind of relevant for some purists who understand that Charlie Watts added a very special backbeat to this group. I mean, just really authentic drummer had that kind of jazz swing to what he did and very different from a lot of other drummers, very important to the Rolling Stones sound, much like Alex Van Halen was really important to the Van Halen sound. And you can go down the list, but um, certain drummers are far more distinctive than others. Um, but as far as continuing on, look, the Stones are a money-making enterprise. Uh, if they book a tour, they're going to sell lots of tickets. People are willing to do the thing in order to see the Stones. They're willing to get their QR code uh, up and, and available to scan. Um, people don't seem that concerned about medical privacy or geolocating or any of the things that that app will likely be able to do to you. Um, and I understand most phones today already have the technology and they know where you are, but I think they probably don't know all of your medical history or portions of it, but people are willing to do it to go see the stones, right? And the stones are going to charge uh, people lots of money for that inconvenience just to see the rolling stones and people I don't know, they have different priorities in their life. Uh, I've seen the Stones in, in my lifetime, so I'm good. I, I don't really need to see them again. I saw them back in the 80s, and um, it was the coldest rock concert I've ever been to, outdoor concert in uh, Foxborough, Massachusetts, which I talked about uh, a long time ago. It was called Foxborough Stadium. That's where I actually uh, went to see the Rolling Stones. Now it is Gillette Stadium. The bottom line is, you know, the three guys, you know, you hear Jagger, Richards, and then uh, Ronnie Wood, but even with just Jagger and Richards, I hate to say, um, it's kind of like Pete Townsend, right? And Roger Daltrey can still be the who. So the Stones can still be the Stones, and it's unfortunate. And the who lost Keith Moon, right? And they continued on without Keith, weren't really the same without him, but they were still making some pretty interesting music and even went on tour recently and came out with an album and people were fairly receptive that they had finally put out some music. So yeah, the bottom line is I bet you the Stones will continue on without Charlie Watts. Some purists will think that to be sacrilegious and I'm, I, you know, I'm kind of borderline. Uh, it's, it's sad because, um, he really was important to the sound of that band. But again, if they're willing to replace him temporarily, my guess is they're probably willing to replace him permanently.